live from Studio City Cafe in beautiful Branson, Missouri, USA. It's the new Jim Baker Show. Jim's guests today are Bart and Sue Druckenmiller. Hey. We have a special program today. We're yes. going to be talking about dreams. Mm, Does anybody dream dreams? Anybody ever I have a dream? Oh, I've had a lot of dreams. And uh, I'm telling you, I believe in spiritual dreams. Yes. The Bible tells us that God can talk to us through dreams. Yes. And he and there's rules and regulations. And uh, we're going to have uh, uh, Bart and Sue are here with us mm -hmm. today. The drunk, drunken, not drunken, <laughs> the drunk, <laughs> drunken Millers. Wow. Can't you change your name to just like Smith or something? Or just Miller. How about Miller? <gasps> the Millers are here with us today. <laughs> the uh, Drucken Millers. There you My, go. Is that correct? Is Very that coming good. out now? Very good. Drucken Millers. Drucken Millers. A lot of people say Drunken no, no, Miller, yeah. and I just say when I came to Christ, Christ took the N out and got rid of the drunk and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> changed me. <laughs> so we're going to talk about dreams today. You know, when I was younger, I need, I need to ask about this because... Uh, when I had, when I was young, I kept, in fact, I still have those dreams occasionally, not very often, maybe every five years. I'm back in school, and the horrible ones when you're back in prison dream, I have that one too, but the, the back in school, all through school, I would dream that I couldn't find my locker, then when I, I didn't remember the combination, and I couldn't find my classrooms. I never and heard this I before. was so, it's frustrating. <laughs> I, I didn't know where the classes were. I couldn't find my locker. I was searching all night long. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to see if Bart knows anything about that because that dream really upset me. I wake up, and you know what? I'd, I still, when I have that dream, I wake up, and I haven't graduated in the dream, so I'm trying to graduate from high school. <laughs> That's oh. hysterical. I never dream about <coughs> school. What's that mean? But you know, it's a, the greatest relief wow. is when I wake up and I figured, oh, I made it. I graduated. You know, here I am, 64 years old and still oh, worrying honey, about it. I want you to welcome our special guest, Bart and Sue. Drunken Miller here. Come on. <laughs> Here there so we can talk. There you go. Nice to have you here with us today. How you doing? Wonderful. It's wonderful to be here. And uh, I, I understand, Sue, you play the harp as yes. well. Yes. I can't wait to hear you. And the harp. And you, you actually started late in life. Is that what I heard? Is that true? I started about six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. I told my husband, and he thought I was crazy. <laughs> I played for the symphony, and so she just plugged around with me, and I had. You know, because I played music by ear, I had no idea of rhythm. For the first two years, she would yell at me, get a metronome. Yeah. <laughs> well, you kept on going, and uh, I, I'm going to have you get, in fact, I want you to go over and get ready to play the harp, and then I'm, I'm going to talk to Bart for just a minute while you're getting set up, okay? Okay. Oh, great. <laughs> you know, honey, real quick, I was thinking about, you can go ahead, but I was thinking about uh, just last week, I think it was, or two weeks ago, we went to Silver Dollar City, and we uh, no, 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 no. we saw a show <coughs> called the Sound. Uh, was it the Sound of a was it Sound of Angels? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. I'm sorry if I said it wrong, but it was harp music, and it was all different <coughs> harps. And they even showed the harp that David um, played, that we we read about in the Bible, and it was so interesting. And so we took our kids, and it was quite a cultural experience yeah. for all of us. I mean, we loved but the harp it. Goes it was way beautiful. Back, way yes. back. Yes, you yes. Want to, uh, I want to hear something interesting is my wife and I, we've been married 14 years now, and she didn't start playing the harp until seven years after we're married. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, my name is Bart. Well, in Gaelic, it actually means one who rejoices with the loom or harp. Yeah. So it's uh, my name actually relates <laughs> to her <laughs> instrument. Mm. And uh, we just, we found out some just amazing little coincidences in I regard just how the Lord knows the end from the beginning. And yes plans things together and it's just yes. it's, a, it's amazing. You sound like you've been hanging out with Rick Joyner and, and uh, Bob Jones yeah. and some of that. Because boy I'll tell you they, they see a sign and they, 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 they can re relate almost everything. They, is, 
is God speaking. You know, if you listen, you're going to hear and see the voice of the Lord. True. He is speaking all the time, and it just amazes me. Um, just in regard to my wife, the Lord was speaking to her to encourage her to play the harp. Mm -hmm. But so many times, all the other voices of the past that say, you can't do it, mm -hmm. you can't make it, mm -hmm. you know, we just hear so much discouragement in our world. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, just yeah. like you said, the enemy, there's just, there's so much negative out there. But really, I believe that if we just take little steps, like Peter, he just got out of the boat, took a little step of faith, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, he walked on the sea. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, we're going to talk about hearing from God, but there's also so many scriptures about hearing in dreams. And when did you first mm -hmm. start hearing that God wanted us to dream spiritual dreams or uh, even interpret our dreams that we've already had? It was actually, I had, when I was young, I just had normal dreams, but I mean, I never had anything insignificance at all. And there was this one dream that I had. I, get, I came home from a revival service, very strong, anointed, Holy mm -hmm. Ghost revival. And uh, that night, I had this dream, and it was about a lady at my work. And simply in this dream, it was a Christmas ornament. And I just saw she was on the ground looking for it. And in the dream, all of a sudden, a portion of it's in my hand, and I see another part come from the sky and kind of like connect together. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know what it meant, and I had never shared a dream with someone because I just thought when you had dreams, that's just, you know, pizza, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I never took them Some serious. dreams are from pizza. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. But I shared it with her, and when I shared this with her, she started weeping. And mm. just, I saw her weeping in the dream. Mm. Mm. And what's amazing is when I saw this take place, I actually said inside myself, I said, I will never share another dream again because I didn't know, I didn't know if I heard her, I didn't know what it sure. meant. Well, come to find out, and this is what amazed me, and this is what really caused me to really start studying Rick Joyner and a lot of these men that flow in the prophetic, was when I shared this dream with her, uh, she was gone for about two weeks from work, I get a note on my desk, and it's inviting my wife and I to her church. Mm -hmm. Well, I still didn't know all the detail. Anyways, we go to their church, come to find out, I find out the whole history. She was in the middle of a divorce. She was completely devastated by it. And the dream was saying the Lord was going to put the beautiful gift that they were given back here. That's why it came down from above. Yes. Uh -huh. And he put it together. And it was just amazing because it's like, you know, here we're now at church with her. And now the whole congregation is rejoicing over one little dream, and they're together. Mm. You know, and with mm -hmm. all the attacks on marriages and yeah. everything, mm -hmm. you know, I saw that, well, God's really that concerned about our lives, that interested in the intricate details. Yes, he is. You know, and I'll be honest, I look at you guys, and I just love what God's doing because you are a sign to the last days of restoration, mm. of hope, of forgiveness, mm -hmm. that anybody out there can receive that mm -hmm. from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's precious. We've been reading. Yes. My wife's been reading your book, Lori, yeah. but to be honest with you, if you ask her, I've been reading more. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that is such an encouragement to ladies. And Thank so I just want to encourage you guys with Thank that. You. you know, and your name, remember, it means hopeful. Yes, did you know that? What my name means? Look, he's just looking at me like, no, I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please I have a, tell a him? Name, a name book, and I was going through the people in your, you know, studio or whatever, and I was going around each, and I was telling them all the meanings of their names. <laughs> so, so, oh, really? And, yeah. and, and, and Lori's name is Hopeful. Uh, that's one of that. that's actually and the, the spiritual, spiritual connotation, connotation of her name, yes. Well, that's good because in, in the flesh, what the devil tried to do is make you hopeless. Yes. 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 Because your yes. life was hopeless. Yes. And now you're bringing hope to millions. Yes, and that's my her heart. Her books, her yes. teachings, yes. and everything tells women mm -hmm. that have had these devastating mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Well, dreams are, are something that God uses. In fact, let me read to you from the book of Acts. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. So there is... Uh, a prophetic word right there about dreams. The Bible says that God speaks to us. Even angels can come and visit you in your dreams. And so 
dreams are not to take the place of the word of God. Right. But they are a way that the Holy Spirit can warn us, can speak to us. And uh, as as I, you know, I've studied this my whole life, I guess. And Vias Vito, who is uh, one of our counseling team members, she has been given the gift of interpreting dreams mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And you find out as, and I've read through your, your two books, you have uh, Dreams in the Spirit, Part 1, and Dr Dream in the Spirit, Part 2, yes, Volume part two. 1 and 2. <laughs> and I don't know if we have a website for you, but people can get there if they I want. I love what it says here on the subtitle, <coughs> though, real quick. It says right here, Dreams in the Spirit, following your dreams towards your God-given destiny. And I know, I mean, my heart's desire is for people to fulfill their destiny, the reason that you're placed on this earth, the mm -hmm. reason you're here is, is to give you hope to fulfill your destiny. And this is one of the ways with your Okay, with we're going to go have Sue play for us. And then <laughs> anybody in the audience has had a dream, we want you to share briefly, just real briefly. We're going to let some of you share dreams as well. And we'll talk about them. And we're just going to share. I'm going to ask uh, Bart in a minute to interpret my high school dream because I've had this my whole life and I've never interpreted it, and uh, it, I don't know, maybe he can't, maybe he can, but <laughs> he was sort of smiling and looking at his wife when I was giving him <laughs> She has, dream. She has the same dream. Oh, no. Exact same one. Oh, my land. Yeah. Well, here she is, oh, the dreamer. <laughs> Su <laughs> Savior like a shepherd mm -hmm. lead us. Oh, I love that. Uh, what a gorgeous, mm -mm. gorgeous harp. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Give her a welcome. Wow. 